This is an overview of how to use the video conferencing features of Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is the hub for teamwork in Office 365. All your team conversations, files, meetings and apps live together in a single shared workspace that are accessible on all your favorite mobile devices. Some of the core features I will explore in this tutorial are scheduling a meeting, starting a video, recording a meeting and sharing your screen. OK, let's get started. I have created a team called Business 101. You will see that there are three different channels in this team. The channel called General is a default channel that is in every Microsoft team. I will open the third year channel. Here you will see I have added a PDF and a Word document to the file section of this channel. Now I will add these files as tabs. I will name the tab Today's Lesson and Worked Solution. Right, I'm ready to start my video meeting. All members of this team will be able to join this meeting. Now I will go into the appropriate channel and click on the video icon at the bottom. I will click on Schedule a Meeting. In the title I will write Exam Question Solution. I don't need to invite anyone as the entire team members will be automatically invited. I'll set the time for 1pm and click on send. This will be pushed out to all the students in this team and also on the post tab. I will click on this post and join the meeting. As this is an example, I will turn off the video mode and use my picture profile icon. I will now pop over to a student account and see how it looks to them. They will see in the posts that there is a meeting scheduled. They can click on join and the meeting will open. As this is an example, I will turn off the video mode and mute this student. Join now. I will now go back to teacher view and you will now see that the meeting has started and one student, AW, Alex White, is present. So. I now want to record the meeting for the students who won't be present during this live class. To record, I click on the three dots, start recording. Back in the student view, you can see that students will get an alert to say that the meeting has been recorded. Going back to the teacher view, I will now share my screen so the students who are currently present can see what I'm doing. Click on the share button, desktop, and open up the Teams page I want to display. Hi class, this is where I have added today's lesson. I will go through a worked exam question from the 2019 exam. Please complete this tonight for your homework. When finished, I will close the share screen feature by clicking on the same button. Another feature is chat now. This is useful for participants who might be experiencing audio issues but need to communicate with everyone. When you want the meeting to finish, you first need to click stop recording and then on the red hang up button. The recorded video of this meeting will now be saved to the post tab of the channel and also automatically uploaded to the stream application. Thanks for watching.